Hey, what's up everybody? 420 Guitar here coming to you with another video. This video is about Ghost Recon Wildlands Ghost War 4v4. Um, so they have dropped the uh, other classes that are available. Um, this is on the Ghost Recon website. It is going to be Tank, Enforcer, and Artillery. Um, under Marksman they have Sniper. Under Assault it's going to have Point Man, Tank, and Enforcer. Um, on Enforcer's profile it's got him as Marksman, but we'll see. Support says scout and artillery. Okay, so let's jump right in. So the tank is an armored defender. The tank diverts attention away from teammates by drawing enemy fire and using thick armor to survive the attack. Okay, so the tank looks like he's going to be pretty badass, especially at like close quarters. Assault class, armored defender, uh, resilient and defense oriented. Great at short, medium range engagements. Instantly removes all active markers on teammates. Makes all teammates immune to marking and becomes marked. Last set amount of time. That's as long as his um, thing is going on. You will not be able to be marked. Uh, the play style, keep track of your teammates. Be able to unmark them when necessary. Avoid large areas. Force enemies into close range firefights where the tank ensures superiority through increased resilience and high powered in LMGs, especially because he's got all that armor on. Yeah, he'd probably kill you up close. Uh, tank's ability removes all marks from allied players, automatically marks him for the duration of the ability. Allies affected by Devart Intel can avoid the effects of other marking abilities. Um, okay, so this is just going to tell a little bit more about the tank. It's basically going to be um, the same thing. It's just giving you a rundown of basics of these um, different classes here. So it will say underneath the tank that they all fall, the tank does fall under the assault class. You can guess from their class name, their protection is much higher than usual and they have increased endurance. They also have wield powerful weapons making them deadly foes in close and medium range combat. Finally, tanks have the unique ability to remo remove all active marks on teammates while marking themselves. This ability lasts a set amount of time, so it should be used wisely. Tanks will shine when their allies are in trouble, trying to flank the enemy. Tanks are perfect players who love to be in the middle of the action. If you're running gun, don't use tank. He's probably really, really slow. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, we got Enforcer. He's under Marksman's class, but we'll see. He's fire support, um, essential to teammates, uh, providing useful fire. Um, again, it does say long range team support. The enforcer inflicts a much stronger advanced suppression on enemies. It dases the enemies, making them unable to aim down the sights and also slows them down. The ability is passive and permanent, so that's good. You can definitely get somebody um, suppressed and they can't see very good and shoot back. The enforcer is a valuable backup for any team, creates priority and any engagement by using his powerful suppression also used for providing covering or pinning down enemies from long range while teammates attack pick them off enforcer uses lmg and can apply advanced suppression which creates powerful blur effect removes crosshairs disabling them for the enemy um, enforcers fall under the marksman category and long and are long range classes they specialize in suppressing enemies from large distance. Valuable backup anytime. Enforcers provide covering fire from afar while teammates advance to pick off their enemies. Inflicting a strong advanced suppression, enforcers daze enemies, making them unable to aim down the sights and slowing down. The ability is passive and permanent. When it is time to, when it is time to advance or when the opponent is being too insistent, enforcer or is there to oppose them with a wall of bullets. Enforcer is great for players who want to suppress the enemies at a distance. Large magazines for the front line. So it's definitely going to help your uh, teammates out if you're uh, going to be decent there at the support, I mean uh, at the enforcer. And so we got support artillery, he's heavy ordnance, he can use um, his artillery to create chads and uh, you know mortar fire. Um, the mortar drone can call in a powerful mortar strike at a targeted area, you will be using the drone to find your enemies and destroy them. Uh, Playstyle, the artillery class low fire, firepower is compensated by the mortar drone's high damage ability. The mortar strike is most useful for area denial, clearing enemies of an entrenched position. Deadly for unaware or low reacted enemies. This drone can target an area for a mortar strike. The mortar strike will hit three bombs on the same area. The mortar strike can be targeted and fired from any distance on the map. So that guy's going to be pretty badass for support for sure. 
Artilleries fall under the support category and bring heavy ordnance back up. They can use their drone to call a mortar strike on the target, large targeted area. Artillery's low firepower is compensated by the mortar's drone high damage capability. The mortar strike is most useful for area denial, clearing, okay, we read that. Artilleries are uniquely, uniquely trained, take out heavy forces from a distance. Snipers hiding on a mountain cannot hide when a mortar strike is upon them. There's nowhere to hide when bombs are raining from the sky. Please enjoy the afflicted. People, players who enjoy inflicted heavy damage and blood will, and fire will be perfect fit for the uh, artillery class where they choose destruction potential or tactical use of the mighty tool. So that's a little bit on those um, classes there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the custom game. Um, during the open beta Ghost War, the new PvP update for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, players will be able to set up and play custom matches with other players in their friends list as an, altern as an alternative to the traditional quick play mode. Custom game follow the same format as quick play you can play the same game mode in two teams or up to four players but in custom games players have access to an ample list of game settings that they can modify to their liking try out variations in default rules for example you can modify the length of the game um, numbers of rounds played best of X format you know best of three best of five whatever access to the whole player map rosters the weather you can make it clear overcast stormy foggy uh, you can make it start at a certain hour, like midnight, and then it will end in like the daytime, or you can start at daytime and it might end when it's nighttime. So that's pretty slick too. Um, so you definitely will be able to have a few things to try out uh, for your custom match. Additionally, custom lobbies allow you to experiment with core gameplay elements to alter your Ghost War experience significantly. Play with Recon Tower parameters. Ghost Recon, the tower gives you a tactical advantage over your enemies, allowing by allowing you to detect their last known position when activated, changing the parameters will allow you to uh, deactivate it completely if you want. You can deactivate the tower. Um, you can change the supply crates. Uh, they'll have ammo or health. You can make it for only ammo or only health or none. You can make it have nothing in it. Uh, you can change the adrenaline rush when it's on. Uh, last living member team receive last team member receives a short term bonus. You can turn that on or off, uh, switch friendly fire on or off, uh, realistic magazine reload. Um, you can lose ammo remaining in the replacement magazine. This means players need to be more careful when reloading. Uh, so if you reload and you got two in your clip and you reload, it's going to be gone. Um, okay, let's take a look here. And these options should be enable the players to customize realism and difficulty of the Ghost War experience. On another topic, custom matches can be played in any team size up to four players for quick play standards. So you can make it a 1v1, 2v2, 3v3. Uh, you can make it a 1v3, a 1v4, depends on how good you think you are. Um, custom lobbies feature privacy settings by default. They are open, so friends can easily join a player's lobby. Alternatively, lobbies can be set to private, so you can settle that 1v1 challenge so you don't be disturbed. You can invite other players from all around the world in the custom lobby and they can see and accept invitations from wherever they are in the menus. A specific set of status instruction messages are displayed inside the friends list so they can see if you're in a custom match or not or if you're in the lobby or whatever. Uh, so there's definitely going to be cool stuff. Uh, you can be able to swap between teams. A player from the opposing team uh, can then also create a swap request so you can swap teams. So that's pretty slick. Um, there's there's all kinds of cool stuff so that's definitely something to look forward to um, so this is just a little rundown over some of the new classes which were tank enforcer and artillery um, just kind of letting you know what's going on before you jump right in and what to expect what their play style is uh, what their ability is um, and letting you know a little bit more on this custom game so you can actually jump in and make your own custom matches as well so it's pretty cool it looks like they did a lot of work uh, put in a lot of work for this um, update so yeah, it's looking good, and I look forward to playing it, and I'm pretty excited. So I hope this helps you guys out a little bit. Um, I hope to see you out there in the uh, Ghost War. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys next time.